In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to stream your own game from your PC to a tablet, a TV or a different computer if you want to. So stay tuned, let me show you guys how easy it is to do it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is connect to my computer. Now I'm using remote desktop to connect to all of my computer and control them. So you won't have to do it. But the first thing you'll have to do is just go on Google and you're going to search for something called Apollo. And if you will find like this one, just put Apollo and put GitHub. Now, once you get to this one, you click on the Apollo, which is a, a fork of Sunshine. Now, Sunshine is the original one that we all know and love, but Apollo has one extra feature that it will literally improve your gameplay. So from here, you download the latest release, you go to releases here, you scroll down and you download the latest release, which is 0.4.6. How you can see, you get the error here, at least I get it, so say keep, click again, keep anyway. And how you can see, yeah, I have it here, I already have it. So once you do on it, you just click on it and you click yes. And I already got this error and stuff like this. I'm going to cancel it, but you just install it. Just next, next, next. And then suddenly you have an icon. Well, uh, an icon which is this one that says Apollo. Now there are some settings that we have to do just to you know keep it safe. So the first time you're going to use it, it's going to ask you for a username and a password. Make sure to always remember this username and password. So this is where we are. So we're running Apollo. Now they're recommending if you're on Android to run Artemis or whatever it's called, iOS and, and desktop is coming soon, but you use Moonlight for iOS and desktop and stuff like this, which works perfectly. Now, the first thing that you want to do is you go to your applications, right? And how you can see here, I have my desktop, Steam Big Pictures, and I have Spider-Man because it's one that I added extra. I will show you guys how to add games that you don't have on Steam. But for example, with Steam, I will click on edit. And here you want just one thing to, to modify. Always create virtual desktop. This is what you want to do. Always click this option. You want to create it. You just scroll up or down, click save. Now, how you can see here, I have desktop, Steam Big Picture, Spider-Man. Now, what do I do if I want to add a game that I don't have it, you know, on Steam? I just add new, put a game, SpongeBob. And now here, how you can see here, the main application to start, if blank, nothing will be started. But you don't put it here, you put until detach commands. So you add it here games, the Patrick Star game, and then um, the AXC option, you right click and copy path. And here is where you will paste the location the, where the game is. Now to make it even better, we can also add icons. But the first thing that I want to do, always create virtual. And now let's search for the image, which is this one, right? While well, here you just go on Google and you download, you know, a um, one icon, right click, copy path, and go back, oh no, I'm sorry. I just open, go back here, paste the image, and that's all you have to do. But make sure you always create a virtual display and click on save. And this is how you will have now, you know, everything set up on it. Okay, now I'm going to jump in on my tablet and show you guys how I'm going to do it and how to set it up every single thing. So now that we have our tablet, the first thing that we want to do is just open App Store and just search for Moonlight. So Moonlight. And we're going to click open. Oh, we already have it. Okay. So how you can see, you already uh, found that we have a PC, well, a gaming PC here in the settings. But before I click on it, go into settings here up on the left. And here I will select full. The reason why I'm selecting full is that the game sometimes it will be on, a, you know, the top and bottom, there won't be nothing, it will be black. With full, they will make sure to cover everything. So I click on it. And how you can see, I have a pin on my iPad. Now, all I have to do is I go to pin on my computer and I go to pin pairing. So here I will put the pin 7163 and I'm going to put this M2, which is my iPad M2. Click send and how you can see, now I'm having my moonlight now after we connect we how you can see here bottom we have m2 now this we have to let them know 
what are we going to let this device do? So you're going to click on edit here. And how you can see, I can list apps and view streams, but I can't do any of these ones, which I want to launch apps and all do all of these settings here. And this is how I want it to be. So now you scroll down. When my, okay, never mind, it's here. And I just clicked here. Now, because I'm remote streaming at the moment, when I click on Steam, you can see the tablet is opening Steam, but I'm also remoting remote desktop in, into this computer. So I won't get any image. I won't get nothing. The tablet is trying to do something, but it won't work. So if you're like me, remote streaming into your the computer, keep in mind, this will never work. You, you can only do one remote desktop. So now restarting the computer, we reset the drivers for the virtual ones. So that means that Polo will now have access again to full drivers from the remote desktop version on the on Windows. So like this, we can connect to play. But there is one more catch that I have to do. And unfortunately, I don't have a way to record. So I have to record the cam with the camera from my iPad. So I do apologize for this one. But let's go and I'll, let me show you guys what I mean. We're going to record with another phone now. So the thing that we want to do is here is the desktop, here is the iPad. Now after the restart, we go into Moonlight again and we click on Steam again. And how you can see the desktop, it's already doing something, but the image, I'm getting the image from the iPad, but I get the sound from the iPad, I'm sorry, but I have the image on the version of, you know, on the Windows computer. What you have to do is just take your mouse or keyboard, go on the iPad screen, because it will be like the secondary screen, so it'll be extended, display settings, and how you can see I have display settings appearing on the first screen. So what you want to do on your main screen, which for me is the little one here, go to this display and just click show only the second display, which will be the iPad. What this does is when you connect to Moonlight using the iPad, it will disconnect the computers and then it will connect on the Steam, on the iPad, sorry. But once you disconnect from the iPad, how I'm going to do right now, for example. So once I disconnect from my iPad here and I'm going to click quit, then my computer will come back on. So this is how you can do and play your games. Very simple. Okay, so now that we have everything ready, we have the controller connected and stuff like that, we're going to go and click on Steam. And here clicking on Steam, it will connect to our computer. And how you can see, we have all the things over there. Now, there is one thing that all we have to remember. Sometimes the full part, it will reset. So what I normally do, I close the app because I can't find a way to actually close quit the app from here without closing the app. So it's, I go back to setting and how you can see went back to, to the normal solution. So here click on Steam again and let's hope this time it will stay full screen. And I believe so, yes, yes it does. So this time will stay full screen and we can now just go and select the game to play. Now you can play whatever games you installed here, I don't know. I really like this game, so this game I'm always showing it to everybody. And how you can see, the interface will literally look like you're running on Steam Deck. So once you're ready to play, you just play. You wait a little bit for your computer to load everything. And how you can see, I'm now playing using my controller. And we're just going to go a little bit here. The thing is that, keep in mind, every single person that you will see a video on YouTube, they will make videos on uh, Ethernet. I'm doing everything on Wi-Fi now. Literally, there's no lag. Everything on Wi-Fi and I have zero, zero lag. So yeah, that's how you can play all of your games and make every console in your house, well, every device in your house, a console to stream your games. If you do like it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. How do I exit this game? And uh, yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Now I'm going to stay a little bit and play.